I can't tell you how much I love this hack. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me yet, my name is Sophia and I make minimalism videos once a week about anything from organizing your house to just decluttering your life in general. And for this week's video, I have a very special video because I'm going to be going on a business trip to Chicago this week and I was packing and getting my stuff together and I realized that because I've traveled so much for both pleasure and business, I've come up with some hacks that helped me throughout my flight. They help me both save money and be super comfortable. So I thought I'd share these with you. These are some tried and tested hacks that I've been using over the years and they really helped make my flight experience a little better. Hope you enjoy. So let's get right into it. So my first hack is one that is my absolute favorite. It's completely changed my life. I like traveling with a travel pillow, but the thing is once I get to my destination, especially when I travel only with my backpack, having to take a pillow with me is one more thing to carry around. Now, this obviously only works if you are flying during the colder months, I guess. So a time when you would take a jacket with you. Essentially, the first hack is to take a pillowcase with you. Sophia, why on earth would I take a pillowcase with me on a flight? Okay. Hear me out. Some of the longer haul flights offer pillows. They're very thin and extremely uncomfortable pillows, so they don't really work in order to substitute taking a neck pillow with you. But if you take a pillowcase, it honestly doesn't take up any space in your bag because it folds up so small, so here's mine. What you do is you take the jacket that you're traveling with. I'm taking this puffer jacket with me to Chicago. So what I'm gonna do when I get on my flight and I take off my jacket is and you've got yourself a really big, nice pillow for your flight. I always choose window seats for my flights, so what I do is I actually put this between me and the window, and I just knock out, and it's honestly so comfortable. I can't tell you how much I love this hack, and I never have to travel with a travel pillow. So, super good hack, absolutely love it. There you have it. Travel hack number two really depends on what kind of flight you're going on, but if you're going on a shorter haul flight, it could be that the flight doesn't have in-flight entertainment. So what I'd like to do is I take an iPad with me on my flight. I have the Netflix app here, so if you have a Netflix subscription, this is applicable to you. And I download offline the shows or the movies that I want to watch in flight. And then I'm able to watch the shows I usually watch at home on the airplane. You can also obviously download... Hey. So obviously download any books on here so this could also double as a kindle so i really like that because you can put audiobooks you can put music you can put shows movies anything you want on an ipad so i usually travel with my ipad travel hack number three is also one of my absolute favorites and it's to make a freshen up kit this is especially important if you're going on a longer haul flight because those really tend to make you feel really sluggish and they dry out your skin. As you'll notice, this is in a little see-through small, small pouch and everything in here is less than 100 milliliters, so it will go through um, security. If you guys want to see what's in my little freshen up kit, then I will open it up and show you guys. The first thing you'll find in here is my lip balm. I've been using the Burt's Bees Wild Cherry lip balm. Um, this is one of my favorites but lip balm is extremely important no matter which one you use, so I always have lip balm in there. Second thing I have in here is a hand cream. It's just from like our local supermarket brand. The third thing I have in here is one of those little containers that you can buy um, at any store that has travel containers, and it's actually my face moisturizer. I like to put it on at the end of the flight. I never fly with any makeup on, um, so I will do sort of my face care routine and then put on makeup right before the flight lands. So I have face moisturizer. I also like to travel with eye drops. These are just like baby eye drops that you can buy in the pharmacy. I find that my eyes get really dry during the flight. The other thing I have in here is obviously hand sanitizer. Then I have cleaning wipes for my face. Again, if I fall asleep and after I wake up, I'll do sort of a little face um, care routine. Then I always travel with under eye pads. Some people like traveling with face masks. 
Personally, I feel kind of silly having a full-on face mask on my face and I feel like they leave too much residue behind. I highly recommend you try these at home before you go and put them on your face because it could be that you have some sort of reaction and that's the last thing you want on a flight. The last two things I have in here are tissues just in case I need easy access to tissues at any point. And I travel with my Valdispers dress which is basically like natural calming pills. The fourth hack is actually a very obvious hack, which is just try to make your flight as comfortable as possible. And what I like to do to help with that is I like to take an eye mask. And the next thing I like having on a flight with me are cozy socks. They're just really, really comfortable socks. They're made of like this fluffy material and I absolutely love them. So these are a must for me. Travel hack number five is by far the yummiest and it is pack snacks. If you're on a longer haul flight, you're gonna be given snacks throughout the flight, which is great, but this is a great way to save money. Even if you are on a long haul flight and they do give you snacks, many times the snacks they give you are full of fat or carbs or they just make you feel really sluggish. I like taking fruit crisps, which is actually just dried fruit, but it feels like a delicious snack, but it's actually really healthy. For this trip, I chose these strawberry fruit crisps and also these pear fruit crisps. The other snacks I'm bringing with me on this flight are raw bars. I really like these. Um, this is in the coconut and chia flavor. This is in the Roship acerola and lemon flavor. This is the green tea flavor. I really like these, these are really good. And then of course, because I have a sweet tooth and we all deserve an uh, actual treat sometimes, I like taking lollipops with me. They're one of those candies that'll last a long time. So I'll feel like for a long time I'm eating candy, but I'm actually just eating one lollipop. My sixth travel hack is to check in immediately as soon as it's possible to do so online. And the reason I say this is because, especially if you didn't pay to choose your seats, if you're one of the first people to check in online, you will get to choose from all of the seats which means that if you're like me and you really prefer a window seat, then you get to choose a window seat, or if you prefer an aisle seat, then you can get the aisle seat. So that's my next tip. Tip number seven is a really obvious one, but I feel like not enough people are taking advantage of this and it's to bring a water bottle with you. I like to bring this one. Obviously you can't take it fill through uh, security, what I do is I make sure that this is empty right before I pass through security. And then once you pass through security, there's always places where you can fill your water bottle. This is a great way for you to stay hydrated throughout your whole travel journey, as well as saving money on water bottles and helping the environment. Tip number eight is a little bit of repetition of the snacks one, but it's just to make sure that you keep away from fatty foods, foods with a lot of sugar or a lot of salt because you're gonna get really dehydrated in your flight. And the healthier you eat, the better you'll feel when you arrive to your destination, the most comfortable you'll feel. So just really try to keep that in mind. Tip number nine is to regulate your sleep ahead of time. So there's a lot of ways that you could do this. For example, for me, my flight to Chicago on Monday is at 11 a.m. So I'm going to try to get myself to wake up earlier that morning just so that by the time I get on the airplane, I'll be absolutely exhausted. The next thing I do is I'll actually regulate my Apple Watch to the time of my destination. What I like to do is throughout the flight, I like to convince myself that it's already that time and I'll make sure that I'm sleeping if I would be sleeping at the destination. So for example, when I first get into the airplane, it'll be really early in the morning in Chicago, so I'm going to try to sleep. Then once it would get to, for example, 9 a.m. in Chicago, then I would try to wake myself up and keep myself busy. And this way, by the time I land, I already feel like I've been in that time zone for a while. It really helps you be jet lagged. Tip number 10 is to ask for extras. In long haul flights, you'll obviously get um, a blanket and a pillow many times. You are allowed to ask for an extra blanket and an extra pillow. They won't always have it, but many times not all of the seats will be filled, so you'll be able to ask them and they usually are super kind and they'll go get them for you so you can surround yourself in pillows and cover yourself in blankets and it'll make your journey a lot more comfortable. 
Tip number 11 is actually to make a game plan with your neighbors. Unless you know everyone that's gonna be in the aisle, you're gonna wanna make a game plan for longer haul flights just because, for example, I always take the window seat. So if I want to go to the bathroom in the middle of the flight, I'll usually have to wake up whoever's in the aisle seat and sometimes that's, you know, not ideal. So what I like to do when I first get on the flight is to introduce myself and say, hey, if at any point in the flight I want to get up and you're asleep, what should I do? Should I wake you up? Should I try to climb over you? What would you prefer that I do? And this way, if they prefer not to be woken up, you can just try to ninja climb over them. And if they wake up while you're ninja climbing over them, it's not extremely awkward. It's also nice if you're gonna be spending a lot of time next to someone to be like, hey, I'm Sophia, what's your name? <laughs> Those are all of my travel tips for today, guys. I hope some of these help you on your next trip, make you a little more comfortable and save a little bit of money. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you like this video and to subscribe for new minimalist content every week. And I'll see you soon, bye.